Hey guys, so today in my new video, I am going to flash Dolby Atmos on our Oxygen OS on our Zeus Z2 Plus. And why? Because the voice, or you can say, audio on Zeus Z2 Plus was a bit of less uh, compared to other ROMs. So I thought of making a video of how I am going to flash the Dolby Atmos mod on our Zeus Z2 Plus, and I am going to show you how to do it. So in today's video, I am going to do it on Magisk, and as you can see. The Magisk is uh, running on the latest version 18.1 and the manager is on 7.1. Now I'm going to go to modules and I'm going to select the patch file. Now this patch file is, is a zip file and uh, you can actually download it from the XDA developer site if you want to. And now I'm, uh, I'm just going to search for it and uh, I'm going to patch it. So it's actually an easy process if you, you want to patch it uh, through TWRP you can also do it. But uh, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it uh, using the Magis Magisk Manager. Now the question may be, why am I using Magisk Manager instead of TWRP? Now I was actually running a, an important task in the background while I'm filming this video. So I thought, why I just don't show you the main thing you can do using, using your Magisk Manager. That is flashing any file zip file if you want to instead of going to twrp and uh, selecting the file and then uh, clicking it and uh, installing it and for that what you need to do is actually go to the twrp means you can't do anything in the background of your phone while because you can't use it now if you use, use magic manager it is very easier thing for you to run any application in the background and also patch a file if you want to that's why i just showed you the way to use your Magisk Manager like TWRP if you want to flash uh, any patch file on it. But if you want to use TWRP instead of Magisk Manager, you can use it. But uh, remember the main point, you will need Magisk Manager flashed before you flash this uh, Dolby Atmos module. Yes, it is compulsory for you to flash Magisk 18.1 okay it's any version it's not a compulsory to flash 18.1 the latest version that's what i'm using but you could actually flash any uh, version of magisk if you want to but you actually compulsorily need to flash at least any magisk in order to use this dolby atmos module now i, I have actually flashed the dolby atmos module and going to see what are the results so now i just showed you how you could actually flash Dolby Atmos mod on your smartphone using Magisk Manager or TWRP. Now the main function of this Dolby Atmos mod is actually to boost your sound and clarity in order to fully experience the power of a sound mode which developers work on for a good long time. And uh, as you can see uh, the, in Magisk Manager it is showing you the Dolby Atmos mod. So that's it for this review, please go like, subscribe and hit that bell icon and please do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next.